Let's get back to this breaking news in Feltville. Get right out there. A little girl was hit waiting for her school bus today. And police believe drunk driving is in the middle of this somewhere. Yeah. Let's go to Stephanie Esposito. I understand there's a news conference that's about to begin. Stephanie? Yes, what can you tell us right now about what happened this morning? Sure, we're in the beginning process of an investigation into an auto accident. It could have been very serious. I think we were very lucky here today, but about 7.20 this morning at Third and Wyoming, uh, what had happened from witnesses is we had an older model um, SUV being operated by a male uh, in his 50s going northbound on Third Street. When he came to the intersection of Third and Wyoming where there's stop signs, he disregarded those stop signs. He was still operating the car in a high rate of speed. He struck two vehicles, one going east, one going west. They both happened to be Toyota Camrys. Those Camrys were being operated. Uh, they both sent were sent into a house. Uh, one of them carried all the way into a house on Wyoming Avenue, knocked over a stop sign. On that sidewalk, uh, there was a nine-year-old girl going to school, waiting for the bus, along with a caretaker. The caretaker probably saved the little girl's life by pushing her out of the way. She did strike her head. Um, the car did miss the little girl and the uh, caretaker. Uh, the operator of the silver Toyota Camry was injured. He was taken to Temple Hospital. Uh, I believe he's in stable condition. We're still checking that out. The little girl was taken by medics to St. Christopher's. I understand being treated for a head injury, but that's because when she was pushed out of the way, she did strike her head. So at this point, I, I don't think anyone is, has life-threatening injuries, but we're still investigating. Uh, the individual operating the SUV has been detained, and we are investigating him uh, right now. We have no charges at this time. Now, the driver of the silver Camry, I understand, was that a physician? I'm not positive of that. I was told it was someone en route to work, yes. And the nine-year-old girl, or, or, do you know where she was, went to school or what grade she was in? Or I don't. She was nine years old. She was waiting for the bus here to go to one of the charter schools here in the area. Um, and like I said, she's on the sidewalk right where she's supposed to be. Uh, was struck by the uh, car that was hit by the, the individual operating the SUV. So we're, we're very lucky that uh, she wasn't injured uh, worse. The driver of the SUV, did he indicate what happened? Did, did, did he say anything at all? At this time, we didn't take any statements from him. We're going we're gonna to investigate him further to see if, if there's a possibility he's under the influence. But right now, we don't have any answers there. And so these two cars were essentially trying to avoid him and had no other place to go but to hit the... Hit the right. I think one of them was actually struck by him, and the other tried to avoid him, and both... Um, were, were sent uh, into the area of, of that sidewalk where the little girl and the adult were waiting for the bus. Do you know if this is a common uh, place for accidents? This intersection, neighbors say, seems to have several accidents in the well, last few months. I would have to research that, but uh, obviously, you know, when we have little kids going to school, there, there are accidents around. We have to be very careful. Uh, there's, there's all the, all the children aren't back yet. Some of the charter schools, some of the other private schools are back. So we are out here looking for the children, making sure they cross. But it's uh, it's always a concern. Captain, can you just again speak to just how quickly that caretaker? OK, died? so as you just heard from the Philadelphia police, the person who was dri a 50 year old male was driving the green Explorer over here. That person blew through several stop signs and hit two Toyota Camrys traveling in opposite directions. One of those Camrys rode up onto the sidewalk into the fence of a home and uh, was headed right in the path of a nine year old little girl waiting for the bus to get to school. Thankfully, her caretaker pushed her out of the way and off camera. I did speak just a moment moment ago with another man who is in the Army National Guard and is a medic. He was able to come out and hold pressure on that little girl's head until medics were able to take her away. Thankfully, at the end of the day, we hear that there are no critical injuries, but we do have the driver of the Green Explorer uh, in police custody, and everybody else seems that uh, they will be okay, but it could have been a really bad oh, thing um, if God. things didn't work out the way that they did. So Boy, thankfully, everybody's fine. Yeah, we saw a guy being wheeled off yes. on a gurney. Do you know what that was about? Well, there were two other drivers, two Camrys. The one, uh, mm. um, witnesses tell me, was a physician going to work, and the other, um, we really don't know much about, so maybe it was one of those. Um, thank yeah. you. The thank but you. But thankfully, no no critical injuries. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Stephanie. Can you imagine if your babysitter, you know, pushed your child out of the way or, and saved your child? <sighs> that babysitter would be all right with me forever. God bless.